As a goalie, Logan Davis has to be ready for anything. But during a game last season, he experienced something he never saw coming. Suddenly, Logan couldn't breathe. My whole throat was closed. I just couldn't skate. It was scary. <laughs> It happens to hundreds of thousands of kids every year in this country. Most end up in the same place, diagnosed with the same thing. Physicians in an emergency setting see this and someone says, it's an asthma attack. Then they tend to be treated um, for that and often admitted to the hospital. But Dr. Karen McCoy says that can be a mistake. A recent study performed at Columbus Children's Hospital found three out of four kids who had good oxygen levels and appeared to have asthma really had a condition known as vocal cord dysfunction, or VCD. The symptoms are very similar, but the treatments are vastly different. Usually, kids with VCD are simply taught breathing exercises to help them cope. But those with asthma need medicine, sometimes steroids, to get better. It was a simple breathing test called spirometry that told doctors the difference. Just a few seconds on this machine may have kept kids who didn't have asthma out of the hospital. And most importantly, not expose these kids to being treated with medicines that actually may have tremendous negative side effects for them. This study only looked at a snapshot of some 20 cases but raised serious questions. If asthma was ruled out in 15 of these cases, how many other kids across the country are being diagnosed and treated for asthma they really don't have? At Columbus Children's Hospital, this is Clark Powell reporting.